Hello, and welcome to Pi, Projects, Ideas, and Experiments. In today's video, um, it's actually another kind of product review, but not an unboxing, even though I am taking it out of the box. Um, that's just simply because I actually used it last year and uh, thought it'd actually make a good video for people who want something similar. Um, Okay, so today's video is about a windowsill fan. Um, yeah, I know the, the cheaper way is putting a box fan in the window, but the openings, you know, you got to deal with a big gap. I don't really care to do that, especially being in an apartment. Not a good idea. Um, so this windowsill fan, um, and I'll be honest, I kind of uh, forgot the name. We'll get to that, I guess, in a little bit. And... Uh, Anyway, it sits nice in the in the uh, windowsill. Uh, it has the ability to reverse flow, so you can either have air blowing in or have it blowing air out. Uh, it's temperature controlled. Has a remote. Um, one word of advice: the little remote battery. Buy you some rechargeable ones. Um, I guess technically I can put links for both the fan and the rechargeable batteries in, uh, in the description or comments or something. I don't know. I don't really do links yet. I mean, I tried. They, I, I'll tell you what it is. If you want to buy it, buy it. If you use a link for me, maybe I get something. I don't know. I re honestly don't know how the program works. Um, still new to all this. Um, so let's get... Uh, Secondary unboxing the product, I guess. Okay. Here we go. Okay, so as you can see, I've already opened this box. Um, this product, uh, this fan, windowsill fan, I uh, used it last year. And uh, let's just open it again. Try to get this opened and balance the camera somewhat. I know, not very good at the cinematography yet. Uh, obviously, this is not how your package necessarily will come. Uh, Vornado is the company uh, that makes this fan. Um, got your. See, Vornado Wind Air Circulator. There's just some measurements if you need to check that or anything. Uh, I'll be honest, I didn't even realize it came with a five-year warranty. Um, but hey, that's pretty cool. Um, like I said, I'll put, try to put a link or, or something. And uh, let's uh, get the out of the box and I'll show you all what it came with. Well... Sort of, because it's not exactly the same packaging. Alright, here is the box out of the box. The um, reason I had it in the other box is because, well, it's, uh, I didn't want this just sitting around with it all busted like that. Honestly, I can't remember now if that's from uh, shipping or from me opening it. Um, yeah, so we'll see. Uh, we'll get it all out of here. Um, have a user's manual. Oh, I'm turn around the right way. User's manual. You know, just just basic things that you know. If uh, it 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 it's a fan. Like, plug it in, turn it on. There, there's not much really needed for instructions, especially one that's actually that thick. I mean, I guess it does. There's some programming you can adjust temperature, which is actually one of the reasons I really, really liked this fan. You can set a temperature, and it will keep the fan on until it either reaches it, and then it can turn off. It's it's like a mix between a fan and an air conditioning system. So, I like it.
something like yep 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 no, had to turn around that that just looks weird that looks better weird better weird better anyway here we go all right so uh i didn't bother with the the uh, table because it's fan like don't really need to uh, trying something different with the phone maybe it, it's a little better I can actually see myself in it, so I can see if everything's visible. Um, so, really, I just flipped it around to where I can see the screen. I thought my camera had different settings, front and back. I thought the quality. Anyway, giving it a try. It may not work, but it will be in the video, regardless whether it's better or not, because that's what I'm pretty much one take shots. That's all I do. Okay. That's why sometimes editing is a little, I'm over here, and then I'm over here, and then I'm doing this. Uh, I just cut out the parts that didn't work out. I don't do anything. I don't refilm or reshoot or there's no script. There's no bullets and points or anything like that. I just film. So you'll hear noises in the background, you'll probably hear the cat, probably hear a phone ring. You know, things happen. It's just filming. Okay. Let's open it. An end cap. And then the fab. Now, obviously, like I said, this has all been open before, so I know everything's already out of here, so I'm just tossing the end cap back in there. And then it'll be stored somewhere. Well, probably right where it was stored the whole year, waiting for it to be used again. Need a piece of cardboard. All right, um, here's the fan. Um, really, I guess this angle didn't really make much of a difference, but uh, <laughs> I just remembered, I forgot to grab the remote. So I'll go get that real quick, and then I'll be back. For you, it'll be like, like that. Hopefully that actually turned out well. I planted it in my head. Anyway, just a little simple remote. I'll give you a better shot here in a second. Um, anyway, comes with a little remote so you don't have to actually you know, get up out of your seat, get off, get off your lazy butt and actually change the settings on, on fan. Uh, let's face it, the, the less movement I do is better. Uh, well, maybe not better, but comfortable. Um, so, remote. Uh, basically it's a fan, goes in the windowsill, obviously used so it's a little dirty. Um, let me bring the camera down here so we can actually, oh, wait. So you, because this video is for everybody else, um, let's see what it all looks like. Okay, okay so here's what it looks like. That's a fan! <laughs> here is the remote of Vornado. Couple little settings here. Uh, obviously, center is power. Uh, left and right is down and up for temperature. This one sets whether you want it temperature controlled or speed controlled. Uh, the sides here also do for uh, the actual fan speed. And uh, the top button here is for having it blow air in or having it blow air out. Um, now, the thing that is technically, um, this is only supposed to go horizontal. So, laying flat. Um, you can't stand it up vertically. But, 
in comments and reviews that I saw online, it works perfectly fine. The manufacturer, though, says not to. So, do what you will with that information. Um, they may not warranty it if you do, or find out if you do, which how would they really technically know? Not legal advice, yada yada, you know, all the disclaimers, stuff, whatever. Uh, that being said, I do plan on buying a second one, and, uh, setting it up vertically and putting it in a, in the back window, actually. And that window right there. All my windowsill plants. Uh, and I just have that open. I have a box fan that I'll be, that I put in there sometimes, um, just to help force air out. Um, but yeah, that one will be for blowing all the air out. Um. And like I said, the fan we have right now is going to be... Again, I said we. I keep saying we. Like in every video. It's just me. I don't know. Anyway. So, it's going to go in living room window, which I'll get to here in a second. Uh, very simple install. Doesn't take hardly any time. It's going to take more time for me to get up and down off of my fat butt and uh angling the video and everything than it is actually going to be to install it um joys of making content right um uh, just something different i guess anyway so as you can see oh you can't see because i didn't flip the camera as you can see here there is a, a, a foam piece it's it's not very squishy, but, I mean, that's kind of the point because, well, it needs to sit in the windowsill and, well, actually seal. <laughs> oh. Anyway, and then it comes with these blocks. And what these blocks do, as you can see, they've got different little angles and edges and things, is they go on the side. There are, let me get them all over here, there are three different sizes there is the big one there's a medium one and a small one and it comes with two of each and all you do is center the fan in the windowsill and then these fill in the gaps speaking of gaps there will be gaps windows aren't always the exact measurements they're supposed to be Foam compresses, yada, yada, yada. It's a, you know, one size fits all kind of a deal. Well, there were measurements, but, you know. Um, just know that there's going to be gaps. Kind of like a window AC unit, there's always going to be gaps. So, you know, it's not like you, it's for a high efficiency. No. Um, ideally, if I had, you know, a home, a house, um, I'd either go for a whole house fan or uh, an ERV. Um, no, that does not stand for electric recreational vehicle because that's, well, anyway. Uh, energy recovery ventilator. In a house, that's the best choice. That's gonna allow you to bring fresh air in, stale air out, not lose as much energy. Um, but the whole point of this is to actually save money and not run the air conditioner as much. So I'm actually pulling in the cool air as much as I can through, throughout the night to bring the temperatures down so that it's more comfortable and I don't have to run the air conditioner so much. I guess downside or added benefit depending on who you are and how chunky you may be. Um, when it's cooler, it's more comfortable, at least for me. Uh, I'm, I'm essentially a polar bear. I mean, I'm white, I'm furry, I'm fluffy. I like it cold. So, if it's colder, it's better. But with the way it comes in right at the bottom of the window, and you'll see in a second where the window is positioned, um, my feet get kind of cold, so I end up having to wear some, some house shoes. But, you know, you gotta wear house shoes or, you know, wear an extra shirt or something. But you're saving money. It's worth it. Now, obviously, 
don't go into hypothermia keeping your windows open. I mean, Texas a while back had a bit of a freeze for anybody who knows what happened here. Um, you don't have your windows open when it's like 10 degrees outside. That's not a good idea. So, let's get to uh, the install. And uh, here we go. I go. Let's go. Something. Okay. So, here is the filming location. And uh, as you can probably tell in the background, the lighting's not the best, but yeah. Whatever. Um, quick, simple install. Probably going to take me longer, like I said, to film it than it is to actually do it. Uh, especially if I keep talking so much. Alright, so first thing you want to do is ignore the broken blinds. Um, I have a cat. As anyone who has a cat knows. Cats and small children both tend to destroy blinds. I have a cat. So, that's what I have to deal with. Back to the window. So anyway, uh, here it is. Have the little, little gap at the bottom so uh, kitty cat can see the, the birds outside. And I'm uh, just going to raise the blinds up. See the food outside I keep for the outside kitty cats and other animals, dogs and birds and, and, and whatnot. Alright. Uh, basically, all you're going to do is raise your window up and uh, install the, the fan. I can't really do this one-handed, um, so I'm going to try to do this, I guess, in stages. I'm not really sure, but I can do it this way. Of course, the window was already unlocked because it was actually open earlier, and so we just open it. And then I forgot I had my window lock. These are great little things to always have on your windows. This prevents somebody from trying to um, get in your window. Of course, granted, if they really want in, they'll just break the glass. But uh, you put put these little things on. They just kind of thumb screw in there. And uh, it prevents the window from being rolled up or pulled up. Uh, you know, more so than you want it to be. Anyway, so... Obviously got a gap there, but that's not enough for the fan. All right. So now let's uh, try to position this so y'all can see and I can see what's going on. Okay, so uh, here I am about to put this fan in the window. Uh, me being on my knees is quite painful. So... Uh, I'm going to try to get this done as quickly as I possibly can. Um, so, no retakes, no nothing. Watch, learn, figure it out. Ask questions, comments. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> um, if you do, you do. You don't, you don't. It is what it is. Okay. Your really only main concern if you want to make sure that the bottom sits in the, the track. Get that position. Try to center it as much as you can. Cord to the side. There you go. Take your big chunks. They sit in there. Make sure the smaller edge is on this side of your window sill, and the chunked part is down in the uh, track for the window. Now I've got the medium ones. Bring that to the side a little bit, try to lessen my gaps as much as possible. Another medium one. And then mine takes all but one. So I have two large, two medium, and a small one. And then window goes down. So you, for me, I only have 
one small one left. This is about a 36 inch wide window, I think. Anyway, then take your blinds. Of course, if you don't have many blinds, if you have the weird vertical ones, then this may not work for you. Take your mini blinds, bring them down just above. There you go. Alright, now let's uh, re angle and I'll show you the rest. Um, as you can see, it's not that difficult to install. It works great. Um, just, you gotta get up and down. <laughs> not the best for me. Um, remember to put in, if you don't, if you don't have one of the window locks, get your window lock. Uh, put that in, prevents the window from coming up. Uh, just bring the window down to the top of it. No. Just like that. That's how it's going to look. So you got a little bit of gaps over here. Not too much. I mean, it's just the whole point is, is trying to increase airflow. It's not, it's, it's not an air conditioner. So you're not um, wasting money. Um, you're actually trying to save money. So actually a little bit of air leakage isn't, you know, too bad. Family channel, so I'm not going to make that joke. Um, Kuna Matata. Anyway, um, so it's not too much as far as settings go, but let's plug it in and uh, I'll show you. Uh, hopefully, the battery's not dead in the remote. I may have to change that. So, install the fan, plug it in, press the buttons, you're good. It's a fan. But it works. And it saves me money. And especially in today's economy with all the craziness going on, that is always a good thing. Used to be a penny saved was a penny earned, and that in implies a 100% uh, APY, which is uh, not going to happen. And if anyone says it can, they're lying. I mean, investments don't work that way. But again, this is not legal advice or an investment channel or yada, 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 any disclaimers, yada, you know, all that kind of stuff. I'm just, I'm just a dude trying to create content to give it, give it my fair share of my shot. Uh, I don't know. Enough talking. So obviously, here you go. And uh, let me leave it right there, right? Come over here and grab the, the little remote. All right, and here comes the extremely complicated process of the install. The most complicated part of the entire install. I didn't even show it. Plug it in, that's all you gotta do. Okay, so. Let me actually unplug it and plug it back in because it did something in with the vents there. Just... Okay. Plug it in. You can see some things kind of moving around in there. There is essentially a baffle that directs the airflow, whether it's blowing in or out. Now there are some buttons down here. Press that. See, that's going to show airspeed. It's now blowing in. It shows the temp for a second. I wish that would stay on a little longer, but it doesn't. There are, of course, air speeds. You can put it down on one, which is essentially useless, and four, which is pretty much where I leave it all the time. You can change direction. So now it's blowing out, but we don't really want that. So I'm gonna change it back. And uh, now it's blowing in. And now this one is your temperature control. So you set it to whatever temperature you want it to be at. And all that does, that doesn't mean it's going to bring it down to 65. What that means is that, see how it showed 72? It will wait till it shows 65 and then it'll just shut off. 
So if your temperature outside is, you know, 80, 90 degrees, well, obviously it's never going to get that low. Um, <laughs> there is the remote. Let's see if I can do this while you can see what I'm pressing. Oh, so the battery does still work. Okay, cool. So there, if you press the temperature control twice, it allows you to change it. And it's just, you know, the same, same little buttons. See if I can do it, yeah. So, it, it, it's a fan, and it helps save money. And that's important. Okay, I'm trying to get up here. Anyway, so that's, that's, uh, that, that's really pretty much all it is. It's, it, it's a fan. Uh, it's going to keep air blowing in as it's cooler out. Um, and, uh, thank you for watching Pi. Be smart. Stay safe. Have fun. I was going to try to make some OnlyFans joke, but I couldn't figure out how to work it in. So I'm just going to add that comment in here at the end. It's fan. I mean... That's kind of funny. Anyway.